Hey, hey, thanks for joining me again. I'm Sally Morgan and I developed this contemporary vocal technique, Sing Like You Speak, which promises to help you sing with power, freedom, and confidence. And it's that third piece, the confidence, that we're going to look at in this lesson. Confidence, what is confidence? Well, you'll remember in a couple of the previous lessons, I spoke about years and years ago, before I developed Sing Like You Speak, that my voice was so inconsistent that my stage fright went through the roof because you get up to perform and you don't know what's gonna come out of your mouth, that's a problem. It causes a lot of stage fright. The confidence, the confidence to stand up on stage and know that if I'm doing that perfect opening inhale, releasing my voice, staying out of the way, and letting this perfect natural musical instrument work and communicate with my audience, that the, the result is going to be consistent. You have to have consistent technique, consistent practice, and then it will yield you a consistent result. And that consistency builds confidence. It allows you uh, to, to be spontaneous with your singing and not to worry about it. I remember, the, the, the moment that I knew Sing Like You Speak was going to work for everybody. And I had been developing Sing Like You Speak, retraining my voice in the technique. And I was doing a gig and I get about three quarters of the way through the gig and I thought, oh no, I haven't sung a note all night long. <laughs> well, of course I had been singing. But it felt so easy and so simple. And just, just like I was talking to my best friend, that I, that was one moment that gave me so much confidence because it was easy. It was just easy. Now, I've also referred to in previous lessons the power source, this ball of energy that we use to activate this amazing instrument that we have. And that there's been a lot of research done on using a power source and a, an open body language, meaning beautiful posture. And it actually changes your brain chemistry actually changes it to strike a power pose. Let's do that, actually, because I do call this superhero posture. So what we're gonna do is either sit or stand like a superhero. Yeah, so that you feel nice and strong. And when you strike a power pose, it changes your brain chemistry. So we can do that for ourselves before we sing. How about that? This will help with your confidence. Even more is striking that power pose, getting an opening inhale, and keeping this body open, your instrument open, so breath and sound can move through. There is another factor that builds confidence and that's just plain having fun with your singing. Just having fun. I, I have one student in particular that I have to, she, you know, she's working really hard and I say, um, isn't this supposed to be fun? Oh yeah, I forgot to have fun. <laughs> Make sure that you always have fun with it. <sighs> fun with your singing just builds so much confidence and repeated success with having fun. Now, there's another big factor in the confidence that I want to address. We all have, 
how shall I put this? We all have um, messages that we hear. I hear, Sally, shut up. You're making too much noise. Or you're never going to make it, Sally. <laughs> you probably have messages that you hear in your head as well. What I want you to know about those messages is that they are lies. They were planted there somehow by family, by uh, siblings, by uh, people at school as you were growing up, by yourself saying, oh, yuck. So those are lies, and you do not need to believe them. What you need to do is to replace those lies with truth. I have the perfect musical instrument. 